the quest to find the first group of athletes to launch a new era in combat sports. I ate that right. Has begun. Oh my God. The chosen few will live together, train together, and face off in a pressure cooker of pain and emotion. At stake, a world ranking, a spot in the first ever pay-per-view event, and ultimately, a power slap world title. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. And the action is just getting started. Last week, Dana and coaches Darius the Destroyer and Wolverine picked seven skilled strikers from last year's exhibition to earn automatic spots. That's what I'm talking about! In the competition. He's got great energy. 100%. Now, the hits get even harder. The chins are put to the test. Holy to fill the remaining roster spots in the Power Slap House. Get ready for the first ever Slap Off Elimination Day. Oh my God. Oh my God. So the guys we picked, we're flying them to Vegas, and they're gonna automatically be in the competition and move into the house. I'm really happy with those guys. They're tough. Skilled. They're the kind of strikers that I want to help me launch this new sport. But we still need to fill the rest of the spots. So we invited a few guys back, and we're going to give them another shot to prove themselves. We also scoured the country for more slap fighting talent and invited them all to Vegas as well. They don't get an automatic spot. They're gonna have to slap their way into the house. I mean, if these guys wanna be in the first power slap competition, prove it to me. Win your elimination fight and you're in. Lose and you're heading home. It's as simple as that. And now it's time. All right, buddy, here we go. Come on, Frank. Let's go. My name is Frank the Tank. I'm 34 years old and I'm from Fulton, Missouri. I have the most slap fight experience out of any other active fighter. I'm with 18 fights. I know there's not going to be anybody that's going to be able to touch me. I love some of these guys. This dude here, Frank the Tank Holland, is an adult caretaker for senior <laughs> citizens. <laughs> awesome. My name is AJ Hintz. I fight under the name Static. Growing up in Adams, Wisconsin, it was, it was a bit of a racist town, so there was, was a lot of fighting in the street, and I realized very quick that I enjoyed fighting. I was part of the first Power Slap exhibition match. Mm. I'm the smallest heavyweight here, and that excites me, because I, I want the biggest, meanest guys you got. You like this kid, AJ, too. He's I good. like him. He's good. This could be a good one. Let's go! Okay. Let's go! Go ahead and get set. 30 seconds. For blue. Okay, hold on real quick. Which hand and on which strike? Right, on three. Blue has chosen right hand on the third strike. Okay, go ahead and measure. I'll count them out for you. One. Two. Fair blow. Fair blow. Okay, start the striker clock, please. Red strike. Okay, stay right there. Don't move. Okay, which hand? Right two. Red chooses right hand on the second. Slap. There's one. Good. Beard seems like it definitely takes some of the 
Wolverine disagrees. I don't even know where Wolverine's chin is. <laughs> okay, start the striker clock, please. We're in round two. Okay, we have right on three. Right on three. Good. Okay. Put that stack on. One, two. Great job. You get like nervous before the <laughs> slab goes. I'm nervous. Okay. Right hand. Oh, right what? two. Sorry, right on two. two. Everyone. Okay. Right hand on two. We are in round two. I'll count them for you. One. Let's go. Start the striker clock, please. Right on three. Okay. Right hand on three. I'll count them off for you. One, two. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Okay. We're into round three. Start the striker clock, please. Right hand two. Right hand on two. Oh, gee. Let's go. One. Get it! Four, five, six, seven, eight. Right here. Walk to me. Walk to me. No. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Do you have a stool? Cool, cool, cool. Can I get a stool? Right here, buddy. That was a good fight. Oh. Frank delivers a seriously strong slap on AJ. But AJ's got a chin and knows how to take one. Then AJ's third slap drops Frank. Frank tries to get up after a few seconds, but the ref ends up calling the fight. Huge upset. AJ knocks out one of the biggest names in slap fighting. An absolutely incredible win. Winner by knockout, AJ Static Hence. Put a shot to your system. So it feels amazing that I knocked out my opponent. I was real excited when I got him, because he's an OG, he's a veteran. He's no joke, but neither am I. Thank you. Congrats, brother. I just finished the most experienced fighter in this house. So everybody, everybody needs to watch out for static. I'm here to put a shock to the system. What's up? Woo -woo. I came here for the exhibitions back uh, last March. I got invited back. I've been slapping people in the streets since 94, and now I got to give the whole world a taste. Ooh. My name is Paul Teague. I'm from Union, South Carolina. I'm 33 years old. Not many people can just, boom, wind up and, you know, bitch slap somebody. It's, uh, it's going to be great. I've taken punches bare knuckle, and I've also have no fear of getting in front of somebody and taking a slap or delivering a slap. I don't give a So we'll bring you here a little bit closer, please. Step on closer. Step on closer. Dude is powerful. On red is elected to go first. On what uh, count will you be smacking? Three. Three with your right hand? Yes, sir. Three. Do you have a good position here? Come on. Don't come out. Yes. Okay. One. Two. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Ooh. 20 seconds house. still recover. Yeah. 20 right. seconds recover. Sir. One. Behind your back. Right here. It's the moment. Now he's home. Start his time here. <laughs> Start his time. On what uh, 
on one yep. with your right hand. Yep. Blue, one, right hand. Where's your mom at? I think the one slap was the wrong idea. He should have wound up on it. He might get knocked out with this one. Because he was rocked on the first one. He might get knocked out on this one. 30 seconds, start time here on which count? In one hand. Three. Three. Red on three, right hand. Yep. Scoop him. Two. Yeah! Foul. Wow. Uh, foul. You all right? How crazy is that? You got. You got. How crazy is that? To recover. We have a foul here. You stepped forward with your feet. You have some time. So we have a one-point deduction for your foul. Okay, just behind your hand. Do you need more? Uh, no, you're good here. Okay. On what hand will you be smacking? One with your right hand. Walker to me. Wow. What a comeback. What a comeback. Winner by knockout. Michael Smith. What a comeback. I'm the baddest man on the planet. I got rocked, but I knocked him out, and now I'm going to the house, baby. So Slap Jesus comes in and shows us that he is a force to be reckoned with and probably earned himself a high ranking to start off the competition. He gets rocked by Teague not once, but twice. And one of them was because of an illegal stepping foul on Teague. Teague lifted his foot and pivoted when he slapped, which definitely gave him a lot more force. But that didn't matter to Slap Jesus. He just brushes it off, then unloads with a vicious knockout. A very impressive win, and Jesus has earned himself a spot in the house. My name is Mike Webster, AKA Magic Mike. Let's do this. I'm 40 years old, and I can now finally call myself a professional athlete. My son, right now his development's not exactly where it needs to be, to be honest, so, uh, it could be a life-changing opportunity for my family. I got so much on the line. I'm gonna slap the f out of every single one of you because y'all are the twos, but I'm the one. I'm a fast food truck driver. Basically just work all week on the trucks. Other than that, I just train. I met a coworker um, that was fighting. He fought from a young age. He got me into fighting. I trained in MMA, boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, a little bit of everything. I have a chain of steel. Uh, I know I deliver a good slap, so I uh, just get in there and make it out every night. Excited, man. Round one. Blue Fighter won the coin toss, has elected to receive. Hand count. Right hand two. Right hand on two. Oh measure and then go. That's measure. It's your chance. One. Oh He's out. Holy oh He's out. Man. Let's move back a little bit and let the doc have a little bit. Mike won the coin toss. He obviously believed in his chin and that he could take the slap 
because if Emmanuel goes first, Mike gets the last lap. Well, wrong strategy. Emmanuel comes out and knocks him out with the first slap. He hits the floor, he's out cold. Let that be a lesson to you. If you win the coin toss, you should probably take the first lap. Help him sit up. Just sit right here for now. All right, all right. Round one, knockout winner, Emmanuel. Come on. Yeah, I was real glad to get the first round, get the first hit, first hit off and get a knockout right away. It's an early night, it feels great. I had a really rough childhood. Um, my parents weren't always there. I was adopted by my mother's mother. Um, I'm the middle child in the family, so I got to deal with all the backlash, everybody's disappointment, and so far I'm the one doing the best things. I'm 100% ready to bring it. I'm in the big leagues where I need to be, where I belong. I'm gonna bring a lot of power for sure. These guys have never tested a chin like mine, and uh, they've never met heart like mine. What's up? I was one of the contestants on Tough 30 and I faced Muhammad Usman. Muhammad Usman. Yeah! Now I'm here to slap the shit out of somebody. Coming from boxing, this is a really easy transition. It doesn't make it harder one bit. Uh, slaps really nothing compared to a sock to the jaw, you know, so it's gonna be fun. And I'll be the new slap power slam champion in no time. Red won the coin toss. We'll strike first. What's your call? Yeah, two. On which hand? Right hand. Red is gonna go right hand on two. You can measure, we'll go on two. Are you hold this? Nope. Nope. That's one. Ah! Down! Okay. He's out! I got that. Cody versus Mitchell. Mitchell hits like a truck. Mitchell wins with a devastating knockout and moves into the house. Winner by knockout, Mitchell. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So we're only a few fights into the slap off and we've already seen four knockouts. It's unbelievable. These guys obviously know what's at stake and they are stepping up to the plate. I'm beyond impressed and we're just getting started. Oh baby. My name is Alex Asbury. I'm 27 years old, and I'm from Concord, North Carolina. Growing up, I had a pretty hard life. Like, I was homeless for a while. That's really when I started to pick up on the fighting. I realized that I like contact, so I started boxing. I got an opportunity to fight in the exhibition of March of last year, and my opponent was Michael Smith. Stop time. We're gonna have the doctor. I ended up losing because in the second round, my lip got cut so deep that I couldn't continue. We're gonna stop. But me and Michael both know I should have won that fight. I have a lot of power in my hands. It's going to be bad news for anybody in the welterweight division. I'm a stone cold monster. Came up in the cage, going stronger. up in the rage by the launcher. Look, I'm a country boy. I've taken a lot of hits, you know, whether it be from my brothers, my cousins. You know, we grew up fighting. We're out there in the rough country. And I've been training boxing and jiu-jitsu for a couple years now. Yeah, I mean, I came all the way out to Las Vegas to be a champion, to be the Power Slap champion. Dana White is a legend. We saw what he did with the UFC. Bringing that up from Ultimate Fighter, exploding that league. Gonna be doing the same thing here. So I'm excited about it. Okay, we've got round one. Red is striking first. What hand and on what count? Right hand, three. We've got right hand on three. Okay, please stay right where you're at. I'll count them down for you, okay? That's your measure. One, two. Oh! Let him go, let him go. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Six, seven, eight. Up to me, please. Are you ready? Yes, sir. You're good? OK, thank you. OK. Which hand? Right three. That's your measure. It's your time, Alex. One. Oh, yeah, two. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 that was oh, oh, Let's go! One point from blue. One point from blue. Okay, stay right there. Hand and count, please. Right two. Okay, we've got right two. That's your measure. One. Six, seven, eight. No, no, no. Oh, come on, man. It's not that bad. Wow, come on, bro. You can take the point away or two points away or whatever. In round two, Waylon stepped. Alex wasn't un unable to continue. Yes, sir. Okay, due to a foul by both competitors and Blue not being able to continue because of a foul, Blue wins by disqualification. Okay. Alex versus Waylon. This is a very interesting fight. Both of these guys are really good. You know, Whalen gets the first slap, Ashbury falls, and he recovers in time. Asbury slaps, but it's a foul. The foul was he lifted his foot off the ground. Whalen was actually able to recover. Whalen drops Ashbury again. They call a foul on him now for moving his foot, but Ashbury can't continue. So Whalen ends up getting DQ'd. But here's the interesting thing about power slap. After getting knocked out like that, the commission has put Asbury on medical suspension. He can't continue in the competition, so because of that, I'm gonna give Waylon his spot in the house and see what he can do moving forward. I'm not gonna lie, it kinda sucks because I wanna make my name, you know, in this league. I cannot wait to get my chance again. My name is Russell Kainoa Kilani Rivero. My parents gave me that name. It means relentless ocean from heaven. I'm from um, Ever Beach, Hawaii, but I live in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm 29 years old. I grew up boxing. My grandpa was a boxer, my dad was a boxer. I had one slap fighting competition that I actually did. Ended up knocking a guy out with one hit, so I'm trying to keep that going for this show. Why these guys should be scared of me? Because every time I hit you, I try to knock you out. I'm trying to check your chin, see if it's made of glass or not. Because this is granite all day, baby. My name is Daniel Robles. I'm 30 years old. I live in Pasadena, California, and I was raised in Baja, California, Mexico. I'm here to represent my people from Mexico and become the first Mexican power slap champion. I got into combat sports at a really young age. I started with boxing, and then after that, I did some jiu-jitsu, and I started doing Muay Thai, kickboxing, and that's when I actually started competing. And I'm bringing everything that I got, and I'm gonna do everything that I can to knock them out, win the fight, and move into the house, so just be prepared. And you showed your right hand? Okay. All right, guys. 
Round one. Round one, blue. Right hand, three. Right hand, three, blue. One. Two. They might suspend him for the rest of his life. He ain't wow. moving. His shoe came off. He got slapped so hard his shoe came off. You good? Yeah. Just want to make sure you're stable, but I do want to have someone kind of walk you down the stairs, OK? So come, right. come on down here. Winner by disqualification who's been taken out is Danny. Danny won. Right. Thank you, brother. So, just like we saw in the Alex Asbury fight, the striker, in this case Russell, committed a stepping foul, and that resulted in the opponent getting knocked out. Even though it was a vicious strike, it was illegal, so Russell gets DQ. I thought I pivoted after I hit him, but I guess I stepped and pivoted. You saw into the moment that you don't realize what you're doing, so. But here we go again. Just like the Asbury fight, Danny Robles got knocked out so badly that the commission suspended him, and he can't continue in the competition. So I'm going to give Russell his spot in the house. Despite the foul, Russell obviously has serious power, and we think with the proper training with our coaches, he's going to get a lot better and could end up being a force in the sport. I started doing MMA probably about nine years ago. I have four KOs and three TKOs. I got a dirty right hand. I put people to sleep, and I know I got the power to do it. I was 18 years old when I started combat sports. I have about 50 pro fights and over 400 amateur fights. I had my first slap fight on March 22. I lost to Wesley Drain the first time. He knocked me out. Obviously, Dana's seen something in me where he felt like I needed to come back and try it again, so here I am. Blue will be electing to strike first on count number two with their right hand. So are you ready? Start the clock. Round one. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Big he is. I think he knocks this dude out right now. Right, three. right, right three. Red, right three. Two. Oh! You got time. You got time to recover here. Twenty seconds to recover. That was a square a slap that you will ever see in your life. That was on the money. Round two. Good. Which hand and what count? Two count. Blue, right hand, count two. Yes, yes, take it off, John. Take it off. Close. Close. You got to keep that high. Close with your strike here. Keep it higher. Which hand and what count? Right three. Right, right, right three. three. R right two, right two for blue, right two for blue. All about racing. One. Woo! That was that was Which hand and what count? Right two. Round three. Blue, right two. Everything you've been from. Stay up, Tom. Time, time. You got time? He slapped the cotton out of both his ears. Time here. I'm gonna put some earplugs back in you in a second, okay? Okay? Time out. Time in for the strike. Time in for the strike. Okay. Move. Uh, right, right three. Right three for red. Right three. Oh. 
good? You got time to recover here? This goes to a judge's decision now, and, and they're both, how do, how do you score that? After three rounds, I honestly did not know who the judges were gonna give the fight to. It was a toss up either way. Both these dudes are tough. Oh my God. Winner by split decision, Kennedy. I got the victory uh, by decision, um, but you know, I'm just happy to get the W and get in the house. Kennedy's win was so clutch. The guy gets knocked out at the exhibition last year. Then we give him another chance to fight his way into the house, and he absolutely delivers. He's definitely going to be a guy to watch. The Gaspar versus Rodriguez fight, on the other hand, not impressive at all. Foul. Oh. Foul? Foul. Right here. You need to be here. Good. Foul. Foul. Stepping. Foul. Stepping. It seemed like it was just foul after foul after foul, clubbing and stepping. Good. The step was on the follow through. That's a fair blow. Not a clean fight at all. A total show. We make it through the three rounds, and Aziel ends up winning by unanimous decision. Winner, Rodriguez. Jesus is pretty raw in the sport. With some help, you could get better, but tonight, Aziel gets the W. I'm super excited to hear that I'm gonna make it to the house and just get ready to hopefully rank in the sport. My name is Isaiah Quinones. I am in aerospace, and I do all the electrical wiring in spaceships. I'm here to change my family's life. I know I can definitely destroy this competition, and I plan on being the champion. I got into slap fighting about two years ago. Currently, I stand 5-0, and undefeated. So I know I have the technique to back this up. These guys aren't going to know at all what hit them. Let's go, Isaiah. Hell yeah. My name is Nikolai Selkic. I came in the US from Romania. My biggest motivation is uh, Leon, my son. I am here to be a pioneer of this sport. I'm here to be the first power slap champion. I got a couple fights in uh, Jiu-Jitsu and a couple fights in an amateur uh, MMA fight. I have a very strong power slap, and they should be scared. Round one. Red will strike first. Right hand, what count? Okay. Three? Yeah. Right hand on three. Position. One. Two. One, two, three, four, four five, six, good. seven, let him go. Eight. Walk to me, look at me, walk to me. Done. Done. That's all right, good call, bro. That's good. Done. When I hit him, I knew he's not gonna recover anytime soon. It's a big chance to make it to the house. And I'm feel like a movie star right now. <laughs> Nikolai comes in round one and just drops a bomb on Isaiah. He goes to the ground, tried to recover, but the refs call the fight by knockout. Another good stoppage. Winner, round one, knockout, Nikolai. Nikolai's win was the perfect end to an impressive day of fights. This sport is so fun, and this is exactly what I was expecting. And now it's time for the coaches to pick their teams, and we can get this thing going.
Guys who made it into the house already, first of all, congratulations. Guys who slapped the way into the house today, congratulations. Due to some last minute matchup changes, we ended up having to shake things up a little bit to balance out the weight classes. We had too many middleweights, so we decided to make Aziel Rodriguez an alternate in the competition, while Devin Schwan, whose opponent bailed out last minute, is gonna fill a missing light heavyweight spot. I think the good news is, I think it's gonna be fun. I'm also gonna put the group of alternates in the house. After all, I mean, this is a new sport, and my goal is to find as much talent as I can. The coaches have had the opportunity to watch film on you, and they got to watch you slap today. So we're gonna pick teams now. I'm gonna flip a coin to see who picks first. Now, if you win the toss and you pick first, whatever weight class the coach that picks first in, you have to pick somebody from the same weight class. You're blue, you're red. I like it. You got the first pick. So with my first pick, I'm gonna choose Mitchell Sipe. I picked Mitchell number one because, I mean, I know his chin is certified. And from what I saw from his power slap fight, he definitely has a lot of power. Hey, my first pick in the same weight class is gonna be Ryan Phillips. Woo! It was just crazy to be the number one pick on Wolverine's team. First of all, Wolverine is a slap hero to me. I'm in the house, man. This is my home. Everyone else is just living in it. This is my time. We're coming in hot. I'm going to be Dana White's best friend. I'm going to hit him on the yacht. We're going to be doing some big things, baby, with Power Slap, because I am here, and it is my time, baby. Woo! Let's go. Well, with my second pick, I am picking Jewel Scott. Ooh. Ooh. From welterweight, I'm gonna choose Chris Thomas. Yeah. Russell Rivero. Who's Vern Keth. Dwayne Crespo. Woo! AJ Hintz. Yeah. Emmanuel Muniz. John Davis. Yeah. Waylon Frost. Slab Jesus, Michael Smith. Slab Woo! Jesus. Woo! John Kennedy. Wes Drain. Yeah. Yeah, Wes. Devin Schwan. Nikolai Sol. All right, coaches, now we're going to pick the alternates. You got the first pick. All right, for my first alternate pick, I am picking Robert Trujillo. Andrew Provost. Jesse Bustanutting. <laughs> Ezra Rodriguez. Chris Archer. Jesus Casper. Coaches, congratulations. Guys, congratulations. You know, I told you guys this earlier, but it's gonna be the biggest opportunity of your life. You guys are literally launching a sport, and when you come out of this competition, you'll be world ranked. So, congrats, and welcome to Power Slap. Out of all the competitions that we've held over the last however many years, this is probably the nicest house we've ever had. And it's gonna be interesting to see how 22 guys, usually 16, how 22 guys do living together in this house. Let's go! Let's go, boys. Come on, we're tough. Let's go this way, hey! Go, you bet, you, me, Let's go, hey, you, me, and you. We got out of the van to, you know, run around and go find a spot. It was, you know, exciting. Of course, you feel like a little kid in a candy shop because a lot of us probably never been in a place this nice in our lives other than we were working there. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> this is perfect. Okay. Ooh. We got the power slap pool table. <laughs> it's good, dude. I got a double bed. It's bunk beds downstairs. This four man room downstairs. Look at this, bro. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. 
<laughs> Damn, this is a nice house, bro. Three slaps each don't take any from Bob. <laughs> looking at me, looking at me. Oh, we getting ratchet, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Is this a room or a living room? <laughs> Seeing everybody in the environment, everybody's doing their own thing, some people grabbing drinks, everybody's finding their place in the house. The energy was just a lot. I can tell about to get really wild. We're here to do some strength tests, some range of motion, some measurements on you guys. As we launch Power Slap, we're not only starting a new promotion, we're pioneering the science behind it. So today, we're sending the competitors to the Performance Institute and running them through our version of the combine. Ready, go, 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 go. Good, relax, all right. Sweet. Obviously, shoulder is playing a key role in slapping performance. Drive, 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 drive. And we measure maximum static or isometric strength of the dominant hand. Ready, go. Drive, 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 drive. In terms of defense, neck is very important to be able to absorb actual slapping. Go! Squeeze, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. We added in the hand grip to see overall force that they can produce here, which sometimes can carry over to how they slap someone else. Squeeze, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, squeeze, and relax. We did neck length, head circumference. We also did some internal and external rotation for the arm and some thoracic mobility. As you can tell when you slap, kind of have that range of motion. We can get an idea of their neck strength, their head size, and how it relates to how they might take an impact. So just try and pull that right in the middle. Okay. If you do it like this, it's, it's going to yeah. try and record right here. It's going to be a bit different. The sense is like right in the middle there. If you want to do a wind up, that's fine. Or you can just go straight one time. This is our dynamic slapping assessment. Basically, we're using two different technologies. Uh, we've got the power beam, which is measuring the impact forces. We've also got what's called a gym aware, which is a linear displacement transducer. That's the fancy way of saying it measures the speed of the hand as it moves. Some of the forces are pretty frightening when you see kind of the numbers coming through. You're like, oh, I want that to be me, but it's not always the bigger guys who hit harder. Definitely a lot of technique goes into, you know, a power slap. From the power cube to physical measurements, what we're hoping to do is figure out what attributes makes a great striker so that we can develop a training program to help build the sport. Oh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> Look at the belt, guys. Look at the belt. Oh, oh my where, gosh. Where, where, Look at this, guys. Where, 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 where? Look at this belt. When we walked in the house today and we got to see the belt finally for the first time, I'm sure like most others, I had a million images of myself holding that up or bringing it home. It's just so invigorating and made me want to work so much damn harder. What the heck, man? Woo! Light heavyweight. Woo! Let's go, baby! Look at the matches, ready? So after analyzing the fights from the exhibition, the slap-offs, the coaches and I put together division rankings based on who we believe the best guys here are. We posted the rankings along with the first fight matchups at the Slap House so we could get them fired up. And we also hung the power slap belt on the wall to remind everybody why they're here, what's at stake. The bottom line is we don't want to waste any time. We just want these athletes to get as much experience competing as possible. Yo, John Davis, John Kennedy, that's fire. Did I not call it? I had Davis? Yeah. I right, call that. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, was, I said it. You know, I was like, it's going to be the it? battle of the Johns. Yeah. Huh? You know what's so crazy? I called it last night that I was going to be going with Nikolai. Yeah, so we got a week off. Week off. So cool. Wayland's mine! 
I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm ready to f*** the ball, I'm ready to f*** On the next episode of Power Slap, Road to the Title. Oh, hey. With the first fight matchup set, tensions boiled over at the house. Do something stupid. Do something stupid, though. Then the competition kicks off with a bang. Six strikers, three action-packed fights. Hey, Zeus, bring that ass here, boy. There can only be one. Slap Jesus takes center stage again as he unleashes his hand of God on Jesus Gaspar. I bring in the fire. Slap Daddy John Kennedy takes on tough as nails John the Machine Davis. I've never been knocked out a day in my life. And trash talker Chris Thomas looks for his second straight knockout as he faces tough country boy Waylon Frost. Who will slap their way to victory? One step closer to the first ever Power Slap title.